meant to pay homage to the Kajiva elephant, which was Ducati's former parent company's Dakar rallying icon. The Italian firm set out to make a motorcycle that could possibly help you get ready for the Dakar rally today and still enable you to traverse the length and breadth of the earth. Aptly named the Desert X, it is perhaps Ducati's most hardcore off-roader motorcycle in its lineup. So here's the stuff that's good about it and stuff that you need to be wary about in under 180 seconds. Do it! The 937cc Tesla Strata L-twin motor is one of the most versatile engines in the big bike market, powering 5 bikes of various genres. On the Desert X, Ducati has managed to tune the motor in such a manner that you still get that excitement of riding an L-twin engine while being tractable enough when taken off-road. A great trait to have when negotiating tight and tricky trail sections. Despite the tall stance, long legs and a 21-18 inch spoke wheel setup, the Desert X dances from corner to corner as though it were a naked motorcycle. Ducati engineers have found a way to make the vagueness that one associates with the 21 inch front wheel disappear. It's a joy to ride hard and fast and there's an exciting soundtrack to match. With a name like Desert X, the ADV is bound to take on the gnarliest of terrain. It is very well balanced and well packaged. The suspension tune is adjustable and yet very adaptive and its footprint is large enough to remain stable when hooning around. And boy can it kick up a dust cloud. It takes flight naturally and you can feel like a Dakar rally legend astride one in an instant. Shorter riders will find the Desert X quite intimidating as the 875mm saddle height and 210 kilo curb weight are on the higher side. It does require a bit of technical know-how to find yourself comfortable on the motorcycle, which includes you having a bit of off-road bike skills to enjoy its enduro-like stance thoroughly. Given its retro ADV look, Ducati couldn't give it quite a lot of bells and whistles like it has done on the Multistrada V2. So no semi-active suspension, no standard smartphone connectivity, a basic TFT layout and even the windshield is not adjustable. Also, since the Desert X is an off-road focused ADV, things aren't quite as convenient for touring purposes. The pillion seating space isn't quite spacious enough, the grab handles are far too narrow to grab onto and in order to mount luggage, there is no tail rack as standard. The latter can be fixed with accessories, but official Ducati ones cost a bomb. The Ducati Desert X has set the template for what one should aim for if they want an ADV that can actually go off-roading. And I mean, proper off-roading. It has a beautifully balanced ride with almost intuitive handling characteristics that are married well with incredible amounts of approachability and finesse when you take this bike off the broken tarmac. Whether it is to conquer the urban jungle or make a beeline to the Thar Desert to bash some dunes, the Desert X will happily do so, provided you're willing to live with some of its character traits. For instance, it is not quite as pillion friendly or mounting luggage on this bike is not as easy as you would have it on the Ducati Multistrada V2. It is certainly taller and not as fast as that road going ADV either. More so, you have to shell out nearly 2.5 lakh rupees extra over the Multistrada V2 to get this bike. So, when you decide to buy this bike, the purchase decision doesn't happen from here but it most certainly happens from here. So what do you think about the Desert X? Do let us know in the comments below. Don't forget to like and share this video. Follow us on our Instagram page. Don't forget to wear riding gear on almost every ride. 
And until next time, thank you for watching.